Welcome to Ramathet, BC's only running fitness and health show. On this month's episode, I was in conversation with lifestyle expert Natalie Langston on her health choices for staying active. But first, let's go to our segment on professional contractors Sebastian and Mickey on how they maintain a healthy lifestyle being hosts of the show Worst to First. Check this out. Mickey's the big, bold thinker. I had this great idea. Sebastian is a pragmatic detail guy. We're running out of time, but that makes us a great team. Nice. You're just messing with me now. <laughs> we take the worst and make it the first. Here we are at the BC Sports Hall of Fame. So if you hear some noise, we've got kids in the background. But with me are two special guests, Sebastian and Mickey, who are professional contractors and they are hosts of a new renovation series called Worst to First, but I should say they're in their second season. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, so how did you two meet? You want to take this one? <laughs> well, it's pretty simple. Uh, classic brother, his brother met my sister. I gave his brother permission to marry my sister. We met on a family thing and uh, couldn't get rid of him since, actually. Yeah, yeah we had heard a lot about each other before yeah. we even met. Our siblings wanted us to meet a lot and we actually had no interest in meeting each other just because we're, they told us how similar we are. Yeah. We were like, there's, there's no, like, no one's like me. No, you know, oh, we finish each other's sentences. Like, we, we act the same way. We have the same kind of pickup line and uh, on and on and on. And so we never really actually wanted to meet each other and then we did. And unfortunately, within five minutes, we I both went for a hug at the same <laughs> yeah. time, and it was it was awesome. How awesome is that? You know, to create you know a show together, right? How did how did the idea come up to the show first? Um, well, actually, Mickey and I, we were both working as contractors separately. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what we were doing before the show, and then um, just basically HGTV was looking for uh, contractors in the Vancouver area, and uh, it's just kind of serendipitous, actually, the way it all went yeah. down. You look like you're having fun. Oh. On the yeah. show. It's unreal. It's really cool to do something that you already do and that you're already passionate about and then get to showcase it on TV. I mean, it's just, it's a really fun dynamic and to do something we, we know everything about and to intertwine it with a world of television we know nothing about. It was a really cool experience. And to get to do it again for season two coming this spring, it's pretty exciting. So, congratulations thank on you very season much. two and your Leo Award. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> right. The, How uh, exciting is that? You got a Leo. I was, Awesome, it's super exciting. We weren't expecting it. It's super nice to be nominated, just to have that accomplishment, but uh, to actually win and get to stand up there in front of everybody and accept the award with this guy is uh, yeah. that's pretty memorable. Well, I don't know if you know the process of getting a Leo, but we actually just heard through friends, and friends were saying congratulations in, in the TV industry, and we're like, for what? And they're like, you've been nominated for a Leo, and we're like, this is amazing. Um, so no one formally told us, and then so we went to the Leos, just excited to be there and honored and and to actually win to take one home it was it was a pretty cool experience well that's just the beginning and you know yeah. you, you are building dreams right dream homes right and you're like oh wow you are making a difference and you know you like when you hear the word renovations it's no one wants to <laughs> you know it's work sure, right yeah, it's scary yeah yeah and, yeah. and it's you know important to stay fit um, because it's a lot of energy and yeah. definitely. And definitely. you're both fit, so thank you. Really, yeah. some more than others. Yeah. <laughs> I understand you're a firefighter. You have been. It's just that's that's right. Yes, yeah. So I mean, you're absolutely right. It's very important to stay fit because doing a renovation, being in construction, it's very physically exhausting. It can be depending on what you're doing. So if you're not taking care of your body on both ends of the spectrum, so preparing your body for that work, but also taking your care of your body after you do the work, like in terms of stretching or yoga, yeah. you're just setting yourself up for failure, really. So, you know, as far as I, I'm concerned in, uh, as a firefighter, I also have to stay very fit for the other career that I have, and um, it's super important to take care of your body, like I said, on both ends. And you bike. I bike, yeah. For, for me, um, it's not just about the physical activities. I notice it a lot more in the summertime because they're long days. You know, we'll go from seven to seven sometimes with the construction, and so you, it's you've got to remember to hydrate liquids and eat properly. Like, it, you know, maybe you've heard it a thousand times, but I literally will notice a difference waking up at five a.m. if I've hydrated the day before and ate like proper food, and if I've forgotten to eat and haven't drank any water, like. 
you're tired, you're sore, and that's when accidents happen, you get complacent. And, and so, yeah, eating yeah. and drinking properly is, is the best thing. So, Nikki, you had chicken strips for breakfast You know what? Today. I want you to be <laughs> I can't. very careful today. Right, okay. and that happens <laughs> occasionally, but it's a happy balance. Okay? It's a happy balance. It's a balance, right? Yeah. Everything and you had a fry. I had one fry. Now, I just want to point out, like, Mickey is, not not only is he fit, but he's also an incredible acrobat. I don't know if anybody follows him oh, on Instagram, yeah. but he, you do crazy flips and stuff like that, whether it be on a snowboard or off a rope swing or something. He doesn't always land on his feet sometimes, on his head or, you know, we're, we're, one time on his neck. But, you know, we can't it, win it all. is really we can't impressive. Win so. I, I'm a very active person. I play a lot of sports. I, I go out a lot. I mean, that's another thing Seb and I have in common. Uh, we just... We're all about activity. I mean, we live in beautiful BC. How can you not? We got the yes. mountains, we got the ocean, we got lakes. I mean, there's countless activities you can do from, from sea to sky. Right. And what was season one like? What was the feedback like? The feedback on season one was it was really positive. I mean, there was so much to build off of. It, it was tough at first because when nobody knows about a show or when a show is in its first season, it can be a little hard to get the word out about the show. So as far as casting went, it was a bit of a challenge finding people to do the homes. Uh, to renovate their homes, sorry. Um, people that were looking for, for homes in the Vancouver area, it was just because of the market and because of the way the city is, it was a bit of a challenge. Now, it's kind of on the other end of it. Like, you know, we're still having a bit of a challenge finding, yeah. you know, people that are looking for what we need for the show. But uh, basically, we want to encourage people to apply and, and to get yeah. on the show, right? So, so tell us more about the campaign. Yeah, so right now is a perfect time. Go online, go to hgtv.ca, look for worst to first. We're taking applications. Um, if you got any kind of reno, you know, we go through the list, but honestly, just apply. Regardless of scope of work, give us your story. And the best part is you can get up to like $40,000 yeah. in, in, in included in your reno. Yeah, that's $40,000. It's a combination of cash that we kick into the renovation budget and uh, in kind. So products, services, um, you know, staging of the home, things like that. So it's a really good benefit for homeowners to apply. Like Mickey was saying, if you have any renovation. If you need a reno. If you it's need only a good a deal if you need a if reno. If you need a reno. You still have to front up some cash. But in the end, I mean, not only are you going to get the house or the home of your dreams, but you're going to get it done right. And yeah. we're going we're gonna to make sure of it. Yeah, and so it's going to be on TV, and we're going to do it in five to six weeks, and we're yeah. going to have a lot of fun doing it. So. Yeah, well, it's a blast. Well, it fixed your offer to a dream, yeah. really. And yes. how does it make you feel when you create dreams for people, when they go into a door, wow, you know? How does it make you feel? It's the best. Yeah, it's, it's the best. It's the best it's feeling. It's an unreal feel. I mean, we've been doing this forever now, but the fun part about the show is, is we take full control. Uh, you literally hand us the keys and we run with it. We, we get to know your likes and dislikes. So when they open that door for the first time, I mean, it's, it's exciting and nerve wracking because, I mean, we're hoping they're gonna like it. We knock on wood, we haven't, uh, or here, so <laughs> <we> have, <laughs> um, we haven't messed up yet and everyone's loved it. But I mean, that, that is just so cool to see that look on somebody's face for the first time they're seeing the home that they plan on raising their children in or, or growing old in or, or whatever their dream home means yeah. to them. Because remember, we, we take the keys and we boot them up. They're gone. Yeah. They don't come back to the home. Maybe, you know, if something happens, we have to bring them back to ask them a question. But for the most part, homeowners, they don't see their home until yeah. it's completely wow. done. So it's a drastic yeah. change from... We like to bring them in when it's like demoed yeah. so they see it in ruins, even worse than it was before. Because a lot of people aren't used to seeing a house completely gutted. I mean, we do this every day. We're used to it. That's actually a great stage to be in. You have no more surprises. Everything is opened up and you're ready to build. Uh, but for most homeowners, just you're not used to seeing it in that state. They panic and uh, it, it, it's exciting to see and it's, it's nice to see them kind of work through it and then ensure them that this is going to be a wonderful home when we're done. And it's kind of fun for us, too, to make the homeowners squirm a bit. <laughs> right? Can we say that? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, they're spending a lot of money on their reno, yeah. right? And when they see their house torn apart, it, it can be a little, a little scary at times, for sure. But luckily, we know how to put it back together. Well, and you're changing people's lives, you know, and living that dream, you know, for their ideal home. And, but who, who's the idea person and who's the detail person here? How do you work together? Oh, that, that's the hard part, actually. Yeah. We, we, both, we both contribute on both those levels evenly, but I think Seb is just a little bit more reserved in that fact. He wants to play it safe and kind of stick to the plan. Uh, when I'm always thinking of, well, we did this here, I mean, we could try to make it better. Um, you know, 
Just because no, it ain't broke doesn't mean you shouldn't try to fix it. I don't it. know if reserved is the right word, man. <laughs> oh, he's got I a I feel like sometimes there. I'm a little more detail-oriented, oh, where detail Mickey wants to just smash through things and <laughs> take that wall out. <clears throat> Excuse like, me. I like to think a little more about the details of it, like oh, okay. the aftermath and you know yeah. the process of doing it. So, so we, while you're sitting around having a coffee talking about getting the work done, I'm getting the work done. Right, and then sometimes we gotta go back and undo the work that's been done because oh, you know we sure, made yeah. a bit of more that we can chew. But that, that doesn't happen very often. Um, that's the I beauty think, of it. We both bring something yeah, to the table we that collaborate. we can we can work off each other. Unfortunately, that means we also butt heads. Uh, but I think in the end, it's it's a, a much better result having yeah. having that bounce back. Hasn't been a problem so far. <laughs> <laughs> but overall, a great team. And yeah. for people who want more information, where can they go? HDV.ca. I mean, if, if I mean if you Google Mickey and Sebastian, uh, you can find us on our Facebook pages or our Instagrams or our website. Um, if you Google HDTV.ca Canada, then you'll get the show and all this stuff coming up with it. Uh, lots of information, lots of stuff out there. And again, apply, get out there. We'd love to hear what kind of renos you have and what you got going on. Yeah. Apply. And thank you very much for coming on the show. And it was so much fun having yeah. you both. Thank and you. we'd like you to come back. Cool, yeah. We'd love well, to be back. Well, yeah, after That'd we do season two, we'll tell you how it went. Yeah. See how many people apply. Oh my God. And congratulations again on your Leo board. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. Thank you so much. Wow! Oh my goodness. It looks amazing. This looks incredible. Wow. Oh wow. Wow. So nice. Amazing. Wow. There's so much to look at. You two asked for open concept. How do you think we did? We got it. Oh my gosh, I mean, it's just, it's so different with that wall being down. You can just see everything as soon as you enter. It's incredible. Oh my god. This oh is my not god. the same house. Oh I want to see Oh my that. god, you guys. <laughs> I don't even know what <laughs> There's so much to take in. Yeah. I can't yeah. believe this is my house. I can't <laughs> believe it. Yeah. We wanted to create that sense of casual yet elegant European flair. It's absolutely stunning. Well, you wanted open concept, so we got rid of that kitchen living room wall to give you a really open feeling. That feels so big. It feels yeah. so big in yeah. here. Yeah. The oh. fireplace, it has that old world feel to it with Venetian plaster and that mantle, it's timeless. I've never even seen a fireplace like that before. And I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's really unique. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, my gosh. This is cool. Oh. I can't even believe this is the same space. You have the double vanity. And we made it slightly higher than usual to accommodate your height. That's awesome. You guys have thought of everything. We put in a rain shower also to accommodate your height. That is sweet. Wow. Yeah. This is wow. going to be great. On the floor, we have the classic penny round tile flooring with black florets and also heated floors. Oh, wow. That's awesome. It's absolutely stunning. Hey, Issa. It's Sebastian and Mickey. You know that brick fireplace you got down here? Yeah. What if we told you it wasn't a fireplace at all? Yeah, no. For it's, real? It's fake. Really? Yeah, so we're wondering if you'd like to tear it out. Oh, I know Jazz has mentioned that he didn't really like it. I say tear it out. Hey. All right. You guys have fun. Thanks, Lisa. Have a nice Thanks day. Thanks for your time. Bye. Okay. Beauty. You coming? Yeah. One, two, three. three. Woo! Yeah, baby. This is going to look awesome. Look at the wheelbarrow. 